we had uh, 22 donors, so it's not really representative yet for the general population. We have to increase the sample sizes, for example, and also look at more polymer types. We target only five polymer types here. But again, it shows you that blood is there. That the plastic is there in your blood, and it should not be there. It should not be there. Uh, so the follow-up questions now are, of course, what is the plastic doing in your body? How is it traveling? Of course, it's traveling. The blood is, is distributing it and uh, make it uh, possibly available for all organs, etc. So you have to look where it ends up. Is it excreted? Is it maybe partly retained and accumulating in certain organs? Can it pass the blood-brain barrier or maybe can it reach the placenta? And so these are the basic questions we have to 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 uh, to, uh, to study now. And I, I think we already started to do a good job because in the Netherlands, particularly in the Netherlands, we started with the large scale research program with 26 partners, including the industry. And uh, so uh, this is called Momentum, the Momentum project. And I guess, you know, it is not a question of one or two years. It may take five to 10 years even, you know, before we have the answers to say, okay, this is a risk to human health or not, or this is contributing to certain diseases.